Whenever you're thinking about your current situation, a lot of times you can sort of reflect on something that could have happened that would have completely changed the outcome of whatever you're dealing with right now, both good or bad. And as fans of the Baltimore Ravens, we think about that a lot. Uh, one of the things that y'all know I think about and have thought about, uh, especially with the Ravens adding Odell Beckham Jr., drafting Zay Flowers, getting Rashad Bateman back, having Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely, Devin DuVernay, and more, I think about, man, what if they really would have went in like this with wide receivers on Lamar's rookie contract? Even if they didn't do it his rookie year, even if they ain't doing it in 2019, but from 2020 and beyond, what if they really started going in back then? What if? What could have been? And it's something when you think about those type of things, it can bring up great memories or it can bring up sad memories. Uh, but then this one right here, what if the Ravens didn't sign Lamar Jackson? That's one that a lot of us had thought about. That's one that a lot of us actually thought was going to not happen. Um, but it did. It came at the very last second at the final hour, right before the draft, literally right before the draft. But what if it didn't happen? Well, John Harbaugh, uh, he was on Sky Sports NFL, and he briefly talked about what may have happened if the Ravens hadn't signed Lamar Jackson. Uh, let's hear what he said. And shout out for Sarah Ellison for bringing this to my attention, because I saw her write the quote down, and then I watched the video uh, from Sky Sports directly, and I said, oh, okay. And that brought up a lot of memories from this past offseason. But anyway, let's get into it. Uh, Harbaugh said, I was excited about Lamar Jackson signing because it was before the draft and I didn't have to worry about it. Uh, it was only like he agreed to his deal maybe four hours before the draft. So we were right up to crunch time there. And yeah, we all remember. We all remember. It, Ravens are a team, and I know it happens with a lot of other teams too, but Ray, we know for sure with Ravens, they are a team that will push everything right up to the deadline every time. Watch in a couple of weeks when it comes to roster cutdowns because they got to go from 90 to 53. 90 men to 53 men, straight like that. They don't got no, it's not in increments or anything like that. No, it's straight from 90 to 53. Right? You're going to get everything in the last second. Sometimes we get it after 4 p.m. on whatever day that is that they got to do the roster cutdowns, but Ravens going to do it at the last second. Um, when it comes to is getting contracts done, like, and, and I think one of the methods behind the Ravens' madness and doing everything. Till the, at the very end um, Now this whole Lamar Jackson contract situation Might have been a little bit different But I think what they do And this is just my opinion I don't know anything from anything Because y'all know I'm an NFL outsider No plugs, no sources, none of that But with the Ravens I think they exhaust all of their options I think they really look at all of their options With a lot of different things And they say okay well what if this and that Oh well what if that Oh well what about this And, and they, they push that All the way up until the deadline Then like alright Alright let's get it Let's make it happen. Whatever it is. So, anyway, that's how it was with Lamar Jackson's deal. Uh, he said, we would, would we have taken a quarterback in the first round if he hadn't signed? You never know. We might have had to, thought we needed to, so to get that done was something that was really valuable. Mm. There was a lot of times when I thought that that could end up being the case. Ravens would be starting over. And Bucky Brooks, I think it was Bucky Brooks who, who suggested that the Ravens, they don't pay Lamar Jackson. They just draft another quarterback. They run a Navy-style type of offense and just do the whole thing all over again. And I remember when he said that, I was like, ooh, yeah, no, that's, no, 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 no. Because Lamar Jackson is not your typical average quarterback. And his uniqueness is special. And for you to just insinuate that, oh, you could just find another Lamar Jackson in the draft just like that. Not to say people can't come in and uh, be talented like Lamar Jackson is, be able to throw uh, at a high level and be able to run at a high level as well. Ooh, it's scary. But if you have that right there, why not take advantage of it? Why not use it? Why not try to maximize what you have already instead of opting for the unknown? And it was scary territory because it almost seemed like the Ravens were going to opt for the unknown. And not to say that a rookie couldn't come in and be successful, but it's a lot of unknown. Now, I know a lot of Ravens fans were thinking, oh, man, Anthony Richardson. Ravens probably really liked that guy because they had several visits with Anthony Richardson. I know a lot of Ravens fans were even like um, they were getting upset. They were getting upset that the Ravens 
kept on bringing in Anthony Viz- Anthony Richardson. Excuse me, they kept flying down to Florida to go check him out and whatnot. I don't even say it's getting heated. Like, and I'm thinking, like, I mean, it's the business. It's the business. Do I want them to draft Anthony Richardson? No, I wanted them to sign Lamar. I wanted them to keep Lamar. But hey, I understand they a business too. Lamar got to handle his business. Ravens got to handle their business. If Lamar ain't signed, then Ravens as a franchise, they had to look at other options. I get that. Everybody gets that. Lamar got that. So, and even the same with him. He wasn't signed, so he had to look at other options. Talk to other teams and whatnot. See what their interest level was and whatnot. Even though that whole thing was weird. Because you ne- never see a bunch of teams just randomly coming out. Oh, we're not interested in Lamar Jackson. Oh, we're not interested in Lamar Jackson. Oh, we're going to pass on Lamar Jackson. Oh, we're not interested in Lamar Jackson. Especially teams with a really bad quarterback play. I'll never forget how weird that was and coincidental. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, the fact that the Ravens have Lamar Jackson is a beautiful thing. Uh, because it could have went so many different ways And we'll see how the season goes I expect as long as Lamar Jackson is healthy As long as the Ravens are healthy I expect them to have a lot of success this season And I expect them to go further than they've ever gone uh, As a unit under Lamar Jackson this year I really do Because again, health 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 is wealth That is the only thing Right there, health um, Another guy Like as far as we, we, we heard about all the visits with Anthony Richardson But another guy who you heard that the Ravens Were thinking about drafting was Will Levis it Was Will Levis And I saw somebody um, They commented on the Sky Sports tweet And said oh man we would have been Eating bananas with the peels on them uh, If we didn't re-sign Lamar Jackson I was thinking yeah Yeah and he was dipping them Oh rotten bananas excuse me Not just bananas with a peel But rotten bananas with the peel on them And what put, 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 put mayonnaise in the coffee and all that And hey to each his own Everybody got their things Everybody got their things that they love. Everybody got their weird stuff that they love. Well, I can't call it weird because it's not what's weird to me may not be weird to him. So everybody has what they love. So I can't knock it. It's not for me, but I can't knock it. That's his thing. But that would have been the or could have been could have been because draft could go so many different ways. But that could have been Baltimore Ravens quarterback of the future. Will Levis. So and then there was. Free agency, they could have gone that route. There was a possible trades, they could have gone that route, but I don't think they would have traded for anybody. But it's just nice to, when we reflect back on that time, back on what could have been. It's nice to know that Ravens have Lamar Jackson. It's nice to know that they locked up Lamar Jackson. It's nice to know that Lamar Jackson, he ain't going anywhere. And we didn't forget, he even got the little no trade clause in his contract. No agent No agent So if the Ravens want to trade him They got to go through him A lot of players Whether quarterbacks or not They don't have no trade clauses There's some that do But a lot that don't Team want to get rid of you Team want to say bye to you All right, bye we trading you Hey we love you thanks for everything But you're out of here Ravens can't do that with Lamar They can't do that They got to go through him He would have to approve it so if they wanted to ever trade him, hopefully that we don't even have to get there. And I mean, we I know we're talking about that, and the contract is fresh, so we ain't got to worry about that right now. And hopefully not ever, because we want these, these these two to be together forever, and for them to have a lot of success. So it's just nice. It's it's, it's nice. I, I did appreciate hearing about this um, because I, it makes you appreciate what came of the situation uh, even more than what. Could have been brought about uh, Had they not got it done So nice little throwback Thursday I guess Well whenever you're watching this Could be flashback Friday It could be uh, Y'all get it Anyway I love y'all I appreciate y'all I love that the Ravens got Lamar Jackson I appreciate that the Ravens got Lamar Jackson Y'all team keep it clean Y'all stay up It's football season baby